Welcome back to Mr. Bunker's Spooky Bunker. I'm Mr. Bunker, and now we're going to be continuing with Resident Evil 2. I'm going to double back a lot. All the way back through the police station and outside and see if I can get back to the gun shop. Because I've had, shot <laughs> because I've had shotgun bullets for a while now. And no shotgun. So I assume I was supposed to pick up... Um, the shotgun at the gun shop. I'm gonna pick these two up and throw them into the, um, storage. And I'll throw this in here as well. Oh, that's right, I picked up the... the ink ribbon after saving. There we go. Got some healing in case we need it. But we're on a mission... to see if we can get a shotgun. And it's probably, like, either a one-shot kill for regular zombies, or it can, like, take out a group, or do damage to a group all at once. And either one of those would have been really useful. But at least everything around here is, like, actually cleared out, and I don't think anything is going to respawn even if I leave the police station. I mean, it would make sense if, like, more zombies kind of flooded this way eventually. If they were in other parts of, you know, the world at large, but... I guess they got other humans to look after. I wonder if I even can leave. Ooh, that was a cool shot. Alright, I hear shuffling. Yeah, they're way down there. What's this way? It's just a... Why can't I go there now? That's weird. Anyway. We're just gonna go this way. Alright, Leon. Just keep going. Alright, they were right there. It's too dangerous to go back outside. Okay, so I cannot double back for the shotgun. I really hope I wasn't supposed to grab it. <laughs> that might be specifically why there's only a little bit of shotgun ammo. Because it's easy to miss. So it's more like just a really good bonus for people who actually pay attention. Well, I mean, I even said it. I contemplated. I assumed I was just supposed to run away story-wise. Maybe they specifically counted for people missing it, and there's another shotgun in here. So the benefit is just getting the shotgun early. Alright, up the stairs. Hmm. Windows. Maybe something around the corner? I guess not. Let me double check the map real quick. <laughs> yep, just a hallway with a door. So probably zombies. Ooh, definitely something sparkly. I thought there was only one door on the map. There is. So, is this not a door? The knob turns, but the door won't budge. Seems to be sealed from the other side. Okay. Hmm. Weird that it's not on the map at all, though. Something's written on the mounting. The god of sun and the god of moon. Their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release red soul. Oh, that's easy enough. Oh, do I have to actually, like, push it? I can't add. Okay, there we go. Hmm. I wonder if I should have examined these. Nope. I guess we're just supposed to assume that they are what we need to do. Sun god and moon god. Alrighty. What's this one? Gimme. Please gimme. Pick the virgin heart. Now I have two? Maybe I can combine them. Let's see. Nope. Hmm. 
Yep. All right, same exact item. Past the not door, through the real door. Okay, that's a great sound. Not many bullets left. Oh, and of course there's more. Alright, let's go on this side. Oh, crap, I can't get that far over. Alright, and run. Yeah, okay. Oh, I should have checked the map while I was in there. That's the room I need to go in, dang it. Into the star's office. I gotta remember there's a zombie right outside the door. <laughs> cool. I will take the shotgun. Yeah, okay. So maybe, like I was saying, maybe there's two shotguns. The first one's like a sawed off, and this one's the actual, like, combat shotgun. Sweet. Okay. Should I need it? Several files from past cases. Nothing useful. Ooh, medkit? Oh, first aid spray, yeah. I was actually kind of making a joke about that. I didn't know they had first aid sprayed this early. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Chris's diary? Why does he leave his diary at work? Anyway. August 8th. Talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. Looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 24th. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G-Virus. G-Virus. A variation of the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Oh, so Claire's looking for Chris, but Chris is literally just on a business trip. That's unfortunate. Hmm. The Chris's diary has been filed. That's funny. Yep, that's a desk. Ooh, unicorn metal. Okay, that's the other thing I need. Uh-oh. Leon. I thought it was a zombie. It's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not going to find your brother here. Don't put it like that. Just explain he's not here. <laughs> There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, no. and get out of here. Don't split up. Why split up? Right. One last thing. Four hands. Here's a radio. Can shoot Take two it. guns. That's better. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. I'm disappointed in you, Leon. Don't split up with people. Desk is disorganized and untidy. Probably reflects the owner's personality. Chris is disorganized and untidy. Picture of a young man. There's a good chance it's her boyfriend. Does the leather jacket disappear? I guess it's just out of frame. All right. Various trophies. One of them reads, Marksman Contest Winner Chris Redfield. Ooh. Nice. More bullets. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's trashed. Someone must have searched the desk. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I didn't even take that into account. There's no dead bodies, but there's files strewn about. Hmm. 
Interesting. Anything useful? Oh, is that a singing bass? Big Mouth Billy? Who doesn't love that? Oh, is that a dissembled gun? Appears to be a replica of a gun. Owner is probably a member of the NRA. Oh. What's up, Claire? I can't believe what is happening to this city. I can't believe what is <laughs> happening to this city. Kind of funny that it fades and everything. All right. All right, we got that. We got that. All right, yeah, we checked that. But did we do anything with this? Oh, must be where they gathered information. There are various devices. Wow, if that's not vague. All right, what's on this desk? Nothing suspicious nor out of the ordinary. Okay, we got some somber music, some bullets. Sweet. Alright, let me double check the map. I think the only other way is a locked door. Yep. Meaning I should check down there just in case there's something for me to, like, clear. Like either a puzzle or a zombie. So, alright. In, out we go. Into the hallway. Oh, wait, don't take a drink. Gotta be ready to shoot. Okay, good. Ah, uh, but I'm hobbling. That's not good. Ooh, anything in here? No. What about this pile? No. And this says spade. Okay. Oh, I can't grab those handcuffs. All right, whatever. Now I'm fine. Feeling fine. But I, okay, but I'm guessing now, now that I have the unicorn medal and have seen that cutscene, there's probably going to be more zombies spawning. That's my guess. Otherwise, it's just going to be a leisurely walk back there, basically. All right, let me... Oops. Back in it up. Come on. Okay. Whoa. Oops, I didn't mean to go into that. Oh, crap. So I didn't expect that. And not only that, but I heard something like disconnect for a second from my computer. Maybe it was just my imagination. <laughs> spooky, spooky. White spooky. Alright, so stay away from the windows. That makes sense. Later. What? I was as far away as I could possibly be. I guess you're not supposed to be able to just get past. They're just jump scares. <laughs> But that does, that does go along with what I was saying, that it doesn't make sense that there are no zombies that have made it in through these windows. There still aren't? Really? Come on. Window break here? Nope, guess not. Just jump scares. So I can save real quick before... I do whatever I do with the, uh, the unicorn. Leona. Oh, yeah, and it keeps track of how many saves. Mm. It's frustrating. I don't know. It's like, um, games that. Oh. Oh. I lost my camera feed. Very strange, and very sorry about that. Let us drop off that ink ribbon. Hopefully we don't get all four keys at once. <laughs> Wouldn't have any room. 
Alright. I got you a unicorn. Oh, right. Let's take a look. Something's engraved on the back. Please guide me to the beautiful maiden who turned into stone as she waited for me. Oh, that's sad. Ooh. A special key? Oh, where did I need a special key? Oh. Precinct key. Is that kind of shaped like something? I guess not really. Oh, it is. It's in the shape of a spade. There we go. Alright, and oops. Those were the blue doors, right? Yeah, there's one right there. And then there's the other one. Okay, cool. Of course it's right nearby. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> Makes me nervous. <laughs> Alright, the first one I found. You have used the spade key. Okay, so I didn't need to actually, like, go into the menu for these keys. Hmm. Copy machine. Oh, do I need to find... Why do I need to develop pictures? That's right, there was that room. Patrol report. Patrol report, September 20th, 9.30 p.m. Which would probably be read as 21.30. Reporter Sergeant Neil Carlson. We received a report of a suspicious individual skulking around the sewers in the outskirts of Raccoon City. I searched the area and located the individual, but he ran away before I was able to question him. I recovered the following items. A small amount of C4 plastic explosive. That's troubling. An electronic detonator. A 9x19 para parabellum rounds. Hmm. Infrared scope, which was broken. Okay. Interesting. Anything on the floor? Anything in here? Yes. Ooh. Two more ink ribbon. Does that mean there's a safe spot right here? I guess not. Oh, it's just because this is like... the room where they would have this stuff. Visual materials. Pictures. Pictures and film, I guess. Oh, can I push this? Yeah, I can. Fun. Okay. So I'm guessing... Let's see. First, let's check here. Awesome. Pile of investigation reports and something up top there for sure. I'll check that out right after uh, looking at all the other things. Files on various cases, nothing unusual. Okay, but I definitely need whatever that is up there. So yeah, time to push, push, push. But before we finish pushing, let me check this door. Okay, yeah. I wanted to see if there was, if, ah, get down. Climb down, please. Climb down, please. Oh no. There we go. I thought I was going to be stuck. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I will take the crank. I've taken the crank. Uh, I guess I should go unlock the other spade door and then come back and drop everything off because I don't think I'll need the spade key after the second one, right? That one's open now. That one's the other one. And that's it. So I can get down to that and then just drop everything off in a box. So that's what we'll do. All right, are they gonna do it again? Is this just jump scare hallway now? No, nah, I guess not. <laughs> no, it, it's luring me into a false sense. It's gonna happen again, that's for sure. It's gonna happen right here, isn't it? Anyway. Hey, buddy. Oh, I just discard it. No. 
I'll put it in my box. I'm not just gonna throw it on the ground. Definitely no point in doing this, but this was my original plan, so this is what I'm gonna do. Just throwing away keys, who does that? Yeah, it looks like I still have a lot of space. So yeah, who cares? There was a place that said it required a special something, a special key to open it. And I don't think they meant like a literal key. Oh, it was right here, wasn't it? Special kind of key is required. Maybe a crank? The end is square shaped. Okay. I guess, yeah, I'll hold on to the crank for a bit, just in case. You never know. I guess if you're not doubling back constantly and whatnot, you don't need to clear out all the zombies, but I really like all the zombies being cleared out right now. I guess it's kind of luring me into a false sense of security, though. Oh, yeah, with stuff like this happening. Okay, so what should I do? Let me try out the shotgun, I guess. I'm nervous. <laughs> Remington M11P, 12 gauge shells, smaller version for the cut. Okay. All right, definitely looks like it hits more than one. All right, I'm definitely not using any more of it though. All right, let's get a soda. Or maybe that's regular coffee. <laughs> Man, that was a lot of zombies. But that shotgun was useful. None of the information looks useful. <laughs> what timing? But yeah, I think that this was kind of where I was supposed to test out the shotgun. That makes sense. Okay, I guess I'll... Oh... I guess I'll go down this hall, but I guess I could have backtracked down here using the pistol. Ooh, what's this? Oh, and gun bullets. Cool. And a button? That's not a big red shiny button. Doesn't look like I can pass through here, but can I push this big red? Ugh. Nothing's ever a big red button in this game. Hmm? Guess not. Ooh, this desk, though. Ah, it's locked. Dang. Need a small key. Okay. Oh, let me reload this. Just so that I'm not worrying about that. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, stairs up and then a door that leads to the probably outside, up and around to the other. Okay. I'm gonna check some files. Ooh, these move, don't they? That's fun. Come on. I really can't read anything on the bookshelves? Okay. But I need to move them. That's that's pretty obvious. Oh, hello. None of these books are useful. Mm. Okay. Oh. That's a big painting. I wonder if I'm going to need... Oh, I bet I need the virgin hearts now. Ooh, red herb. Yes. You are why I held on to my other, my green herb. So let's take care of that. Mix them together. Good job, Leon. Hmm? How many data files primarily on Umbrella? That seems like important enough to gather, isn't it? I guess not. 
I really can't examine this little thing. Guess not. And what's under the stairs? Nothing. So we'll go up the stairs. <laughs> Any books on the shelf are about chemistry. Hmm. Same thing. None are useful. Ah, there's a button. Oh. Should have seen that coming. Bronze plate with a picture on it. Interesting. <laughs> and a bunch of buttons. Uh, oh, I just need to... Hmm. Let's see. Okay, yeah. The, the end ones of blue left. The middle ones of orange left okay if that's what you're supposed to be looking at the blue and the orange things as well as the bookshelves I'm not entirely sure can I squeeze out this looks like it okay yeah okay so I guess push this one to the right a little. And there we go. Fantastic. Oh, is that another key then? I bet it is. Give me that key. Oh, no. Bishop plug. What is a bishop plug? Where does the bishop put that plug? That's my question. I got a crank, bishop plug. Feeling good, I guess. Oh, there was another door upstairs, wasn't there? Could I have gone that way first? Yes, I should have. Goodbye. Okay, so that way has zombies. I'll remember that. Alrighty, well, you're here. Okay. Just this place in another room. Easy enough. Yeah. Okay, and down there is where the zombies are. Nothing down here? Okay. Yeah, right at that door there should be zombies, unless this is the other side. Probably. Ooh. Oh, I bet I need a crank in here. Seems to be broken. It won't work. Okay. Well, let me keep looking before I decide to do anything. Ah, that looks like something. Nothing peculiar. I can't grab one of those giant wrenches. A rusted gear. And a square hole. Perfect. Use. Ah, stairs. Hmm. I guess it's just another part of this uh, room. <laughs> that shadow. Okay. Is there another door? What? Hmm. That makes me nervous. What's that? Sure. I've been asking for a red switch. Ah, uh, nothing. I need a gear. That makes sense. 
Gears are clean. Iron plate seems to have been recently moved. Oh, oh, it's an iron plate. It's not a door. Okay, it makes more sense. And is much better. I didn't want another place to explore. Mm -hmm. On the lookout for gear. Easy enough. Oh, I wonder if I can... Can I, like, hop across this little hole I made? Or skirt around it or whatever? Guess not. It's just a hole now. Oh, but I can drop down. Eh, good enough. <laughs> not what I wanted to do, but it's fine. Alrighty. So yeah, there's that catwalk area. And then it leads to just a single room with a single exit. So that's probably going to be some sort of fight. Bunch of zombies or one liquor or two liquors or something. Just from the setup, that's how it looks like. That's what I'm guessing is going to happen. So let's see if we can get on the other side of that. Balcony area. Wouldn't be too tough. Hmm. I always forget not to take a drink. Come on, this camera angle. Get past him, get past him, get past him. There we go. What's this? Emergency ladder. Let's push the button. Oh, yes. Look at that shortcut. A little victory dance for that, that's for sure. Oh, nice. That's so cool. That's so handy. No, oh, that's not. Go away. Come on. This side, this side, this side. Nope. All right, cool. I'm in caution. That's not terrible. But I gotta remember that if I want to go back this way, I'm gonna have to, uh, take out some zombies. I also wonder if they- oh boy. If they kind of, like, recover health. Oh, this is not a fighting room. This is a safe room. Wow, I'm surprised. Oh, the small key that I need for that area that was back there. Ooh. <laughs> Secretary's Diary A. A Secretary's Diary. April 6th. I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I leaned against it. When the chief found out about it, he was furious. I swear the guy nearly bit my head off, screaming at me never to touch the statues again. If it's so important, then maybe he shouldn't have put it out in the open like that. April 7th. I heard that all the art pieces from the chief's collection are rare items. Literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know which is the bigger mystery, where he finds those tacky things, or where he's getting the money to pay for them. May 10th. I wasn't surprised to see the chief come in today with yet another large picture frame in his hands. This time it was a really disturbing painting depicting a nude person being hanged. It was... I was appalled by the expression on the chief's face as he leered at the painting. Why anyone would consider something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension. All right, that's been filed. So it looks like the painting and the statues were both things connected to the virgin hearts. So is there going to be more like stuff like that? Like works of art that are hiding another virgin heart? A magazine rack, but none of the books on it look useful. <laughs> All right, let's take these two ink ribbon. Yeah, let's do a quick save. Wait, how many? D oh, I already used an ink ribbon. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Waiting room. So then we are going to double back for that small key in or that locked area. Um, now that we have a small key, and we'll do that next time. You know what? No, we're going to do that right now. Let's see if we can make it back there. We just saved, so if we get bit too much by these zombies... Hmm. Hey. 
Ah, oh, see, and that's kind of what I was wondering. Like, they don't respawn if I take them down, but I wonder if they regain all their health if I don't take them down. Like, if I just do damage. Okay. Yeah, it kind of seems like they have full health. Which means those bullets I used earlier just didn't count, basically. Ugh. That's quite unfortunate. Here's the next one. Come on, don't be... Okay. I'm guessing they're just kind of stuck on the other side. Oh, nope, 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 nope. They're definitely not. Hello, hello, hello. Come on, go down. You're good. All right. Right, and there's this area back here. But no, that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for... wherever that locked thing was. Oh yeah, it was right back in there. But since everything's cleared now, yeah, what's this? Wait, what? That is nothing? That's so suspicious looking. <laughs> no, not that one. This one over here. I distinct, distinctly remember it being locked and then going to the next one and it was that one with the greener... Ah, here you are. Use a small key. Ooh, what is this? Handgun parts. I can upgrade my weapons? Wow. Fantastic. I actually didn't realize that about this one. Makes sense. Here? Ooh. It's a C handgun. A cool handgun, I like to call it. Yeah, let's see. HK VP70 burst with a stock holster. Capable of firing three round auto bursts. Oh. Oh boy, I don't know about that though. Manual, right? So now it's on manual? I hope so. I don't want to waste bullets. All right, but that's cool. Oh, yeah. Look at my sweet new... Oh, fantastic. I got a shotgun. I got new handgun parts. Hmm. I wonder if you kind of would have, like, gotten uh, shotgun parts if you already had one. I can see that. Oh. Did I even try this on that stupid thing back there? Just because it said it was broken and it would not work. So I assumed it meant that there was nothing I could do, but maybe I could have put this in it. But it probably would have said that, right? It would have said it just needs a spark plug or something. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll find out as I go along. But either way, we'll find out next time. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to catch the show live, just look for Mr. Bunker's Gaming Bunker at twitch.tv. Have a good one. I think it's on the near side. Come on, Leon. Stop giving me trouble.